hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i will show how to use validation control in asp.net so there are six validation that that will be provided by the asp.net compare validator custom validator range validator regular expression validator required field validation and validation summary the required field validator is used for which field is necessary So now to use a validation just click on the validation and go to its property so in required for validation you can see that there is a error message property error message is the nothing but uh, the text that is displayed on the screen In behavior there is a control to validate property in this you have to select the text box which text box is connected with this validation you have to click, uh, select the ID of the text box If you don't know the ID of the text box, then just select it and go to the source. Now you have to do this same for all the validations. Also you can change the color of the validations. Also you can increase the font size. Now the next one is regular expression validator. In regular expression validator you there are lots of expression given by the ASP.NET. You can select it as your requirement. I use this is for email, so I select on the email. In regular expression, if you don't find your expression that is match with your pattern, so you can also create your custom pattern.
the next one is compare validator compare validator is used for compare the two values compare to control me which means which text box you need to compare with the other so if you have a prob if you have an error with this uh, this type of query so the solution of is this you have to go to the web.config file and type this code i put this code in the video description now close it and save it now rerun the code you can see that all the validations are work require field validator regular expression validator so guys if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and thanks for the watching